Michael Jordan in the 1998 Chicago Bulls Championship docuseries, The Last Dance, wrapped last night on ESPN. The 10-part series has captivated the world over the last five weeks. We'll give our reaction coming up here on OTB. Jason Ayer, who's the producer of this documentary, was on SportsCenter last night with SVP and talking about how, uh, how they laid the series out. I don't think that the storyline was mapped out. So okay. everything with the the, the Phil's uh, coffee can ceremony and, and all of that was mapped out. I, I knew two years ago that that quote from Michael that plays at the beginning of the of the first episode was going to play again at the end of the, of the last episode. But you have way more context. And it turns out that actually the Bulls are respected yeah. like the Celtics and the Lakers and the Sixers. So the the, the basic structure of the episode stayed the same. Um, and that, again, is a testament to our editors and our producers. Everyone was on the same page. More from air last night as you got to look into the flu game, which is actually the food poisoning game that was uh, yeah. some pizza. Another conspiracy theory shot down, too, about him like the, gambling. The backstory to that, you have been in, in rooms with, with a bunch of dudes in a pizza, and I have, too. Um, I have not been in a room with a pizza where we all ate dinner. And Michael Jordan did not eat dinner because we didn't wait for him to order. Mm. So earlier that night, those guys all ate dinner and didn't wait for Michael when they ordered. So it gets to be about 10, 11 o'clock and Michael is starving and says, I want a pizza or get me something. And we're talking about Salt Lake. So they're actually way on the outskirts of Salt Lake. And that's that's another layer to this story is that they weren't staying in downtown where things would be readily available there was no room service in the hotel so they call out when the pizza shows up michael says everybody do not touch this pizza this is mine you didn't wait for me don't touch this so he spits on the pizza power play by jordan there also uh just fascinating story man the the utah jazz fans no limits on what they would do to win going into game five giving mj some sort of food poison people five people Delivering it to Michael, which makes sense, right? Like, if I hear that Michael Jordan's getting this pizza, I would absolutely tag along. But, uh, yeah, just unreal again what Jordan was able to push through there in, in, in that game. Just in, in such an important game. Like, his ability to rise to the town to find that extra gear. And I, and I don't know, obviously, this docu- documentary is going to highlight that, but, but it just seems unparalleled. I kind of put that on Jordan's team, like his inner circle. Who told the pizza delivery group that it was going to Michael Jordan? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like stuff like that kind of has a, a, a way of getting out, right? I mean, I, I don't. maybe nobody even explicitly told them. Like, maybe they know. Because you know where Michael Jordan is staying, right? So if you're delivering a pizza to that hotel, is it just, well, what if it's him? I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that his personal trainer still wants to fight those guys. LSU football released a statement on Friday afternoon announcing that linebacker Dante Starks had been dismissed from the team. Linebacker Dante Starks has been dismissed from LSU football for team violations of team rules, said head coach Ed Ogeron on Friday. Starks saw action in three games in 19 as a true freshman. He also put out a statement over the weekend stating on his Twitter account, before y'all, uh, before y'all write bad things and make accusations about me, ask me, What's going on? I didn't get dismissed because of guns, drugs, etc. That February situation that happened, I accepted that and moved on. Mistakes happen. It's life. I got dismissed because of my academics. The schooling part is my weakness, and I'm okay with admitting that. This isn't the end of the world, and I'll overcome this. To the people wishing and hoping the best for me, I appreciate y'all. And to the people bashing me and talking bad about me, I appreciate y'all as well. So Dante starts speaking over the weekend about the news coming on Friday that he had been released from the LSU football squad going in to uh, to the weekend. Yeah, look, hope 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 good things for Stark in the future and and that was pretty uh it was pretty honest, pretty upfront and so I I hope that he can get that academic part fixed and uh, go on to be the football player that it looks like he can be. Rory McIlroy delivered the winning shot Sunday as live golf returned to television for a skins game that re- uh, that revealed Plenty of rust and raised more than $5 million for COVID-19 relief funds. McElroy and Dustin Johnson, who had not won a skin since the sixth hole, had a chance to win the final six skins worth a million dollars on the final hole at Seminole Golf Club in uh, Florida. 
at the uh, the Taylor Made Driving Relief Exhibition. Both missed, and they returned to the, the uh, par 3 17th for a closest to the pin contest where McElroy and Johnson won there. The point, the, the, the overall point there is life sports are returning, golf was back, and they raised over $5 million for COVID-19 relief. So shout out to those guys doing uh, having some fun, giving people some entertainment, and doing it for a good cause. Speaking of live sports, even though it was live, I'm still not watching NASCAR yesterday. Kevin Harvick beat Alex Bowman to win NASCAR's first mm. racetrack, or first, uh, first race back at the track in Darlington. Here was uh, Harvick on uh, Sirius XM talking about the win. You know, it was obviously in the car was no different than, than it always is. Out of the car was, was really awkward after the race. But, you know, I'm just I'm glad to be back at the racetrack. And, and you know, for us, it was uh, the first pit stall played a huge, huge role today for us. We were able to keep our track position. Our car was, you know, really good out front. And we were able to fend them off on the restarts and do what we had to do on the restarts in order to, to hold our track position. And that was really the key at the end. I knew if the 88 got by me, I was going to have a tough time uh, getting back by. I mean, he put, up a, he put up a good fight there for about a lap and a half. And I was able to finally clear him off a of turn off a of turn four. And, and you know, from, from there, clean air was, was really key for us. And, and our bush light forward was, was able to kind of drive away. And, and you know, we were able to uh, hold on for the last 30-some laps there. Good job by Kevin Harvick practicing social distancing and finishing ahead of his friends. Yeah, okay. Harvick wins the, uh, the real it's Heroes Monday. 400. Yeah, it was Chill out, everybody.